You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Every year when the college football season rolls around, I always love, 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 love when the blue chip ratio is released. If you're not familiar, I'll oversimplify this. And by the way, Bud Elliott is the um, the guy who for uh, 247 who created the blue chip ratio and met Bud last year at SEC Media Days. And I'm planning to have Bud on tomorrow. We've got to finalize the times because I want to go into some nuance here with the blue chip ratio. But ultimately what the blue chip ratio uh, does it is a number which says ultimately you've got to have more four and five star recruits over a four year period than two and three star recruits. That may sound very obvious, but there are literally no exceptions. Some numbers are interesting. Uh, people's opinions of who could win the national championship, Vegas odds sometimes are interesting. And we see analysts and odds makers sometimes. Give favorable odds to schools like Wisconsin or Cincinnati in a given year. Uh, we've seen Michigan State and Washington make the college football playoff. TCU was in the championship game a year ago and got completely waxed. Since the blue chip ratio has been put out there, and this was started back in 2013, and they've tracked it even prior to that, but ultimately what it says is that no school that has fewer then half of their scholarship players as four- and five-star recruits can win the national championship. So before every season, you're able to narrow down the list of teams that even have a shot of winning the national championship. Um, and it's not to say things like coaching don't matter. They do. But players matter more. Look at Ed Ogeron winning a national championship. Look at Larry Coker winning a national championship. Les Miles, Gene Chizik. I mean, these are not the greatest tacticians that college football has ever seen. They just had the best rosters. So when you look at the um, at the blue chip ratio, here it is. This is the list of schools that have a chance of winning the national championship. If you were thinking about putting a uh, a long shot play on another school winning the national championship, don't waste your money because there are literally only these schools that have a chance of winning the national championship this year. Um, the blue chip ratio, here you go. This is it. This is your list of schools, the 16 schools that have a shot of winning the national championship. Alabama, 90% of their roster, four or five stars over the last four recruiting classes. Ohio State, 85%. Georgia, 77%. Texas A&M at 73%. You may laugh, hem, haw, and roll your eyes. It's not to say that this guarantees a championship. It's just to say, if you are not on this list, if you are not on this list, you cannot win the national championship. That is binary. There is no exception. There has been no exception. The closest was Marcus Mariota's Oregon team that played for a national championship. TCU this last year played for a national championship, but they didn't win it. It's not saying you can't make the playoff. It's not saying you can't make the championship game, but the only teams that can actually win the national championship are these 16. Bama, Ohio State, Georgia, Texas A&M, Clemson, LSU. The Tigers have the sixth highest number on the blue chip ratio at 71%, followed by Texas, Oklahoma, Oregon, Notre Dame, Florida, Miami at 61%, Penn State, Michigan, USC, and Auburn. That's it. That's the list. Now, there's one caveat to throw in here. And Bud Elliott has acknowledged this with the blue chip ratio. That there isn't a large enough sample yet to know what transfers mean for the blue chip ratio. Clearly, this has become a ubiquitous part of college football now with the amount of transfers. But what it's suggested so far is transfers and the transfer portal can make you better, but it's not going to make you win a national championship. Georgia a year ago took zero 
transfers won the national championship. So if and when there's a larger sample size, it may be reflected, he does put out a second blue chip ratio that w- that includes the um, that includes the differential with the transfer portal. Uh, the only schools that actually benefit from the transfer portal on this list was Michigan. That's it. Auburn actually would drop off the list because of the transfer portal. But Michigan gets a one percent bump. They're the only one that benefited on the blue chip ratio from the transfer portal. Every other school took away from them. Even in the most interesting one is USC. Because we, haven't we seen how much Lincoln Riley has brought talent via the portal into Southern Cal? Look at Caleb Williams a year ago. Look at the big defensive lineman from Georgia who just transferred in there. Uh, Jordan Addison a year ago. But even still, Southern Cal has been negatively impacted by the transfer portal as far as the blue chip ratio, which is interesting to see. So uh, we talk a lot about the transfer portal, but what this number shows you is the portal doesn't actually help you win a national championship. LSU is actually down five percentage points when you look at the transfer portal. 71% of their roster, four and five star uh, recruits, with the transfers, when you take into consideration the transfer portal, it's down to 66%. The only school that have had a higher negative impact from the portal, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, and Miami. That's it. Only schools that have had a higher negative impact by the portal than than LSU, which is weird to think because we talk about how Brian Kelly came in, used the portal to make their team relevant. He did. But they lost three games a year ago. So how do you get to the point, or four games, I guess, when when you consider the SC Championship game? How do you get to a point where you're competing to win a national championship. It's not the transfer portal that's going to get you there. It's It still shows that it's your high school recruiting that gets you to win a national championship. So LSU's on the list of the blue chip ratio. I think of the sixth highest blue chip ratio in the country behind only Bama, Ohio State, Georgia, Texas A&M, and Clemson. Uh, look to have Bud Elliott on the show tomorrow to go deeper into some of these numbers and have a pretty fun conversation about the blue chip ratio. I always enjoy talking to Bud. I love looking at that list because it's, it's interesting. We talk about college football and you know is it harder to win a championship saying college football or college baseball or something like that and it's an interesting conversation because in college baseball you can see there there are more teams that have a chance to win a national championship like we saw coastal carolina win a championship we've seen teams like virginia and and and, uh, fresno state win national championships in college baseball but in college football it's even harder because literally there's only 16 teams that can win it that's it. That, that even have a chance of winning it. So if you're one of those those teams, it's presumably easier. But for the, the mass of college football, it's harder because you literally have no shot if you're not one of those teams. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.